Thank you, Mr. President. I also understand that you shared a copy of the letter with several. I'm going to go into all the details because um, getting into the details of what you would have done might give us clarity of what you intend to achieve. You have shared this letter with, us, with several members of Congress who represent the Kansas City Three, including three House members and six senators from their respective states. What are you hoping to achieve by engaging these specific members of Congress? Yes. I sent this, a letter to all these people, all the uh, senators representing the states where our three heroes come from. Mr. Langmi, who comes from uh, the state of New York, uh, Mr. Klutchi, who is from the state of Missouri, and uh, Mr. Frank Cheney, who is from the state of Minnesota. All of them, uh, all of them, the three of them are represented by one senator each. So we sent, I sent the letters, my petition to them. I also sent petitions to the reps. The representative, the, the congressmen, two congressmen and one congresswoman who represent uh, our, our heroes, our comrades uh, in this case uh, in Washington. Why did I do this? You know, the primary job of senators and congressmen in general is to represent their constituents in Washington. And these three are constituents. They are Americans. And they are constituents of these political leaders. And they represent them in Washington. So I wanted to draw their attention to what is going on if they are not sufficiently aware of all these of the disparity of treatment of these Americans, these Africans, African Americans, originating from the state of the Southern Cameroon. I wanted them to know that, how they have been affected. And I also accompanied my letter with, uh, with, their, bio, uh, with their biographies or a sh short bios. I didn't give the detail, but the short bio. These are professionals by excellence. These are college educated individuals who are serving and, and contributing to their communities. They are no criminals by any, ex any stretch. I made sure they are aware so that they can, uh, they can represent them correctly by finding out what is going on with, their, with them. Why are they treated in this manner? Why are they held without trial? And why even their motion to dismiss in the month of August last year, after being kept for more than a year, has not still been considered by the judge? Why? And that they should help by uh, uh, reaching out to the Attorney General, uh, Mr. Merrick Gallon to look into this matter and show the same leniency that they have shown to Ukrainian Americans who are, who, are, who are supporting, contributing and supporting Ukraine to fight against the annexation by Russia, to show the same leniency to, that they have shown to um, uh, Israeli Americans and Palestinian Americans who are contributing to support their communities to self-defend. So that is their job, I suppose. And I think that I thought that I should inf involve them and inform them so that they can follow up with my petition to ensure that justice is done to all Americans, their color notwithstanding. 